thank you, thank you. Now, uh, before I go on, I, I just want to thank you all so much for making the effort to be here tonight when you could have been at home enjoying yourself. <laughs> it's the kind of self-sacrifice that makes this country the greatest country in the British Isles. <laughs> now, we're on. Oh yes, our next act is someone I've actually heard of, an old friend of mine, star of uh, Good Morning Vietnam, the Dead Poets Society, and Mrs. Doubtfire, yes. A big hand, please, for Mr. William Robbins. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. Robbie Williams, Mr. Mr. Robbie Williams. Chuck, Cam, great to see you. <laughs> yo, yo, what's up, Wales? House of Windsor, keeping it real? <laughs> Obama, yeah! <laughs> yes, indeed, yeah! The dream came true. Great God Almighty, the dream came true. Obama, Obama, Obama! <laughs> Obama, yeah! <laughs> Barack, which means blessing, Hussein, don't ask. Obama, which is an old Kenyan word for Kennedy, God bless us. <laughs> and a lot of Irish people are going, he's black Irish, he's an Obama. <laughs> but he is an eloquent, eloquent man. I know at the inauguration, people are hoping that maybe he kicks it up a notch going, what's up, Washington? <laughs> yo, 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 let's keep it real right now. I'm gonna bring out the members of my political posse, my cabinet right now. This is little Ray Ray. <laughs> This is G-Man Kanye Kobe and Colin Powell, who's bad to the bone. <laughs> We're going down Pennsylvania Avenue with the top down. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to build a basketball court in the Rose Garden. <laughs> but we do have to take a moment of silence and bid a fond farewell to George W. Bush. Yes, it's the end of the reign of George II. <laughs> the reign of error is over. America is officially out of rehab. Welcome. <laughs> we have come back. Thank you. He is a gift to comedy, though. He is a comedy pinata. I'm going to miss him. <laughs> a man who said, I'm the decider. No, sir, you're the president. You make decisions. Deciders what they sell in the little jugs. <laughs> a lot of people. He also said, I am misunderestimated. And I went, no, not really. <laughs> and you think, what is he, what, I have to think, what is he gonna do after he leaves office? No, he cannot go on a speaking tour. That's a given. <laughs> but I do think he could do stand-up comedy because he has eight years of amazing material. <laughs> he has stuff, and here's some of W's greatest hits. The question that's never asked, is our children learning? <laughs> I just found out that a lot of our imports come from other countries. <laughs> America, a country where you can put food on your family. <laughs> our enemies are looking for terrible ways to destroy this country, and so are we. <laughs> and you have to have a little sympathy, though. W comes from a family where the smart brother is named Jeb. So you have to kind of... <laughs> take a moment, just have a little moment of silence. And you can't blame the economy on him. They say the economy is essentially sound because people are considering buying things. That's like saying fat people are healthy because they might exercise. <laughs> like, no, we need help. We went to the world. I like the fact the American government went all around the world and the French were going, I feel so bad for you, huh? <laughs> so good. It's like, who has $750 billion they can spare? And I'm going, the only people in the world, the Saudis. The Saudi, can you spare seven? I will give you $750 billion. All I want is a picture of Angelina Jolie and Louis Walsh. <laughs> I changed that reference for England. Thank God that worked. Thank you. <laughs> but it was the economy, the whole thing, and the whole debate. Basically, it was we had Obama, Fresh Prince, McCain, Uncle Fester on the Adams family. <laughs> And the debates were so amazing. The first debate, two people speaking in complete sentences after eight years of W, I was going, thank you, God! <laughs> I was beginning to think our electoral process was like the Special Olympics of politics. I was like, no! The second debate, McCain started to get a little like, mm, I don't know, that one. 
And then the third debate, oh, Wild McCain was just a... <laughs> he starts to look like your uncle who's on a new drug and he hasn't got the dosage right. <laughs> and you find him wandering around the mall, going, I've got a plan! <laughs> I know where Osama is, tell us. I'm not gonna tell you yet! <laughs> Where's the plumber? Where's Joe? Where's the plumber? Get in the car, Uncle John, get in the car. <laughs> but it was pretty wild, that whole concept. What is he doing there? That's like, and where? Where did they get Sarah Palin? Where did they find her? <laughs> wow! Did Ronald Reagan have a kid with Posh Spice? I don't know. <laughs> it's like, she... It's like she came from some sort of reality show, Project Running Mate. Here she comes! <laughs> Here comes Sarah. Her hobbies are breastfeeding and helicopter hunting. <laughs> she can skin a moose and balance a budget. Come on down. <laughs> With that shucks and all kind of, oh my gosh, oh shucks. Polar bears are not endangered. They're just unlucky. Come on. <laughs> and it was pretty amazing, too. The last few days of the election, she let her hair down. She took her glasses off. I thought the last day she'd just be like, check it out. <laughs> How do you like my northern slopes now, boy? <laughs> Drill, baby, drill, drill. <laughs> you think Bill Clinton was sitting at home the whole time going, where was she when I was in office? <laughs> Damn. <laughs> well, Carl. And Bill has some bad luck. He found the only Jewish girl who couldn't get a stain out. That is so sad. <laughs> He's like, e -e -e. But the whole thing is, American politics are always crazy. I live in California. We're a 60% Hispanic state. We have an Austrian governor. Even old Nazis are going, that's weird. <laughs> that's not right. And Arnold could be president if it wasn't for that tiny clause. If you're not born in America, you can't run for president. Arnold, the little immigrant boy who had a dream and a vial of anabolic steroids. <laughs> And he lives with and married to Maria Shriver, who's a Kennedy, who's getting smaller and smaller. I believe he's living off of her. I believe he's sucking the Kennedy out of her slowly but surely. And that's why he's become a moderate Republican, which is kind of cool. It's like a Volvo with a gun rack. You don't see a lot of it. But I was thinking, maybe there's one person and I want to get a guy out there running, you know, when Sarah and people talk, who can we get that would run and make the whole world go, oh, wow? And that guy would be Jack Nicholson. <laughs> yeah, baby. He has got cooler movies than Arnold. You can't handle the truth. <laughs> You'll never have a sex scandal with Jack. He's done everybody. <laughs> I had Angelina Jolie, and afterwards she adopted me. <laughs> And you'll never have a drug scandal. Jack has done every drug known to mankind. He's the only guy in the world that Keith Richards will go, I have to go home now, Jack. <laughs> but I'll leave you right now because some people say that I look like Bono and I have to say, stop drinking. <laughs> but recently Bono was on stage in Scotland and it was very quiet like right now. And he started clapping his hands and he clapped his hands and he said, every time I clap my hands, a child in Africa dies. And from the back of the Scottish audience, someone went, then stop clapping your hands! 